Okay, last method natin for uh, the computation of depreciation is the service output method. Okay, uh, service output method uh, assumes that the total depreciation that has taken place is directly proportional to the quantity of output of the property up to that time. This method has advanced has an, has the advantage of the of making the unit cost of depreciation constant and giving low depreciation expense during periods of low production so if you uh, for example uh, buy a machine you no know, uh, that will be used for a certain uh, that will be used to produce a certain uh, product you no know. so magandang gamitin tong service output method Kasi it would be based on uh, output or number of hours na ginamit mo. Which is uh, practically true naman. Ano? For example, if you use a machine every day, no? uh, uh, machine, for example, the same machine every day. Tapos, uh, the same machine then uh, another machine, the same machine, <laughs> uh, si- a similar machine. Okay. Uh, you, ginagamitin mo in, uh, once a week, for example. No? So, kapag ginagamit mo yung machine every day for uh, one year, for example, uh, there's a possibility na mas madaling, uh, mas madali, of course, na masira yung machine kapag lagi-lagi mong ginagamit. No? So, yung useful life niya or economic life niya would be uh, shorter. Uh, when you compare... Uh, pag kinumpare natin, pag gagamitin natin yung uh, machine na uh, once a week lang, for example. So, syempre, since once a week mo lang siya gamitin or once a month, mas mahaba yung economic life niya because hindi siya nasasagsag. No. So, uh, that is, uh, I think, a more practical uh, way of computing depreciation. No. Kapag mas, kapag if we base it on the output or number of hours na ginagamit mo yung, uh, yung machinery. Okay? Uh, so, that's the service output uh, method. So, the depreciation per unit out unit of output is equal to CO uh, minus C sub L over uh, T. T here is the total number, total units of output up to the end of life. Yan. Total units of output up to the end of life. So, you should have an estimate kung uh, ilan yung units output niya sa the end of its uh, life. Then, QN, Q sub N is the total number of units of product during the end year. So, end year. So, to compute for the depreciation in a particular year, that is equal to the product of the quantity CO minus C sub L lower T and Q sub N. So, this is in terms of output. In terms of working hours, uh, palitan lang natin ito ng instead of output, gawin lang nating hours ito. Okay? So, that's the difference. Okay, let's try to solve a problem to illustrate this particular uh, method. Okay, a television co- uh, company purchased a machi- machinery for 100,000 pesos on July 1, 1979. That's pretty old. It is estimated that it will have a useful life of 10 years, scrap value of 4,000 pesos, uh, production of uh, 400,000 hours, and working, and working hours of 120,000. The company used the machinery for 14 hours in uh, 1979 and 18 hours in 1980. The machinery produces 16, uh, 36,000 units in 1979 and 44,000 units in 1980. Compute the depreciation for 1980 uh, using each method given below. So we're going to use a straight line method. Uh, working hours method, um, service output in terms of working hours, and then service output in terms of output, no? <coughs> number of units. <coughs> oh, my voice. 
Okay, so given uh, one year lang ito. 1979 and then 1980. So after a year, ilan na kaya yung uh, ilan yung depreciation niya. No? So, okay. So given naman na yung hours, total number of working hours, tapos total number of units, and then at the end of their useful life. So usually you can get those data from the manufacturers. You know? So sabi nila na uh, this machine can produce this uh, amount of output and or this machine can work up to this uh, amount of uh, up to this uh, number of hours. So si mga manufacturers ng machine so they they can actually have they can give you an approximate value or an estimate value of those things. So let's solve the problem using the straight line uh, method. Uh, straight line. Straight line. Okay, so the depreciation on DN net and depreciation on 1980. Okay, yung uh, formula natin. Ayan. For straight line, it's one year lang ito. That is C sub O minus C sub L over length. Remember, this is since we're using straight line method, this is L, no? So, 1980. Uh, CO natin is 100,000 100, pesos. Ito. Nakita ba yun sa video? Yeah. Um, minus CL and salvage value natin is and yung salvage value natin uh, 4,000 pesos divided by L uh, years natin is number of years is uh, 10 years so anyway for straight line naman pare-pares lang yung depreciation each year <laughs> so the, the depreciation 1980 ganun din yung depreciation on um 1981 pero the uh, ang kasi ang ang kinukumpit natin is usually the accumulated uh, depreciation so the depreciation in 1980 is how much is that um 9600 that's the depreciation on the following year okay, okay next uh in terms of working hours, letter B. Oh, divide na natin yung papel into three para... Ayan. In terms of working hours, uh, depreciation natin is... Ito. Ay, free. <laughs> ito. So, DN is equal to CO minus CL over H. HN natin. So... That's 1980. We have uh, CO. CO is uh, 100,000 minus CL is 4,000 all over H. Ano yung H? H, H, H. H is the total working hours, which is 120,000. Okay. Times HN. HN natin is uh, HN noong 1980. So, uh, between 1979 to 1980, no? So, the company uses machinery 14 hours in 1979 and 18 hours noong uh, 1980. Okay. Uh, 18,000, I should say. 18,000 hours in 1980. Since we're solving for the depreciation ng 1980, syempre, gamitin natin yung 18,000 hours. Okay, so the depreciation in 1980 is equivalent to uh, 14,400 pesos. Yun yung depreciation noong 1980. 
Ok Okay Next, letter C um, Output method So we're going to solve Depreciation using the output Method So DN Is equal to uh, CO minus C Quantity CO minus CL over T Times QN so we have DN is equivalent to uh, CO again is 100,000, CL is 4,000 uh, 4, all over yung T natin, total number of units that is 400,000. Uh, oh, yun pala sa problem natin, hours yung nailagay ko. This should have been units. Ano? So a production of 400,000 uh, units in working hours they should have been uh, ay nakita ba okay. units no? so this is 400,000 uh, QN is ano yung QN yung number of units ng 1980 okay. so the machinery produces 36,000 units in 1979 1979 yan ha, but since we are solving for the for the depreciation ng 1980 then we're going to use the uh, number of units produced ng 1980 which is 44,000 uh, units okay so we have 44,000 units so the depreciation Nung na ah, so it should have been 1980. Depreciation ng 1980. Okay. Using the output method is we have here 10,560 pesos. So yan yung depreciation. So dapat uh, for the uh, sa method natin na uh, service output or kaya working hours method, we should know, we should have a record of the number of outputs no, na produce or number of working hours. Okay? And also, you should acquire from the manufacturer ng machine, you should, uh, they should give you the approximate or estimate uh, va, uh, amount of working hours na pwedeng gamitin yung machine o kaya uh, am amount ng Un total number of units na pwede ma-produce ng machine. Ayan. Para ma-apply natin yung service output uh, method. Okay? So, those are the different methods to in uh, solving for the for depreciation. Okay? So, in, uh, if you have questions, again, if you can ask in our group chat or in you can comment on the uh, comment section comment section sa my uh, video okay so we can now start uh, next with next lesson next lesson would be the different um, methods economic study methods okay.